Happening today, the Colts start their joint practice with the Carolina Panthers as both teams prepare to face off in their first preseason game this weekend. We're also getting a preview of what game day will look like this year. Yeah, and it's going to be real exciting as we head into the weekend. We are now turning to, I believe, CBS 4's Eric Pointer, who does have a preview on that. We know that as of right now, the Lucas Oil Stadium will be at 100% capacity and masks aren't required, but representatives from the team say that they will be in close contact with the Marion County Health Department and they will stay on top of the situation. Now, later this morning, stadium and team officials will have a media availability at Lucas Oil where they will go over what game day will look like. They'll talk about new features and amenities and others that were not used because of COVID that will be returning. Now, while the first preseason game is this Sunday, the Colts Vice President of Communications says that it will be more like a dry run before the regular season, and they will be prepared to make any updates that the health department suggests. So over the next couple of weeks, um, you know, we'll, we'll maintain that contact with them. We, we hope that uh, the numbers, the COVID numbers start uh, start going down, going in the right direction. But uh, but like we learned last year, you know, um, uh, we, we have to be able to pivot um, very quickly. Joint practice starts today at four o'clock in Westfield at Grand Park. Fans are able to go and check it out for free. Colt City opens at three and there will be live entertainment and appearances from Blue and the Colts cheerleaders. Now this is the eighth joint practice that the Colts have taken part in and coming up in the next hour of news. I'll tell you what representatives say that is beneficial from these joint practices. Here in the newsroom, Eric Pointer, CBS 4 News.